the first one is the Honourable Member for Launceston. Thank you, Mr President. Mr President, the heritage-listed old umbrella shop in George Street, Launceston, is a rare glimpse into Tasmania's retail history and heritage. Although not Launceston's oldest shop, it's distinctive because not only does it have a well-preserved street frontage, but still contains many Victorian-styled Blackwood shop fittings. The charming old shop in Launceston is one of the last surviving retail experiences of the early 1900s and is a rare example of an intact early 20th century store, including the original till. Originally, it was opened as a grocery store in the 1860s before being operated by the Schott family between 1921 and 1978, selling their handmade umbrellas. It was run by three generations of the Schott family who made and repaired umbrellas. Initially, the Schotts were in the shop next door. The land on which the shop was built was first granted to Surveyor Thomas Scott and used as a grocery store during the next decade. In the 1880s, the owner was Daniel Corcoran, who operated the business The White House Grocery. Robert Walter Schott was born in England in 1858. After living in New Zealand, he immigrated to Melbourne in the late 1880s and established an umbrella shop in St Kilda. He later moved to Tasmania, where he opened another umbrella shop at 64 George Street, Launceston. An advertisement in the Examiner in December 1909 gave a vivid description. For men, twill silk with 18 karat gold. Mounted ivory handle for 30s. It was made on the best frame from Hoyland's ribs so it could be covered again and again. Silver mounted handles have reliable partridge stems and fox's paragon frames and are equally strong and durable but cheaper than the gold mountings. Ladies' umbrellas are also mounted beautifully in 18 karat gold and sterling silver on ivory or pearl handles with cable chains to slip over the wrist. The greatest of all novelties is the spring opening where, with just a touch, the umbrella simply opens itself, slips into a slot and remains securely open until the spring is touched and its sides <coughs> down to close. All kinds of beautiful silks in floral panels, striped, checked and patterned silk and satins, as well as black and white, are in plentiful stock ranging in price from four shillings, six pence, to 12 shillings, six pence and upwards. Schott's specialty umbrella was the automatic frame. Flexible, easy to adjust, but impossible to blow inside out in bad weather. Prices range from six shillings, six pence, to two and three guineas, expensive in those days. Business flourished and the shop moved to 60 George Street. Schott introduced souvenirs in 70 different timbers, Boxes for playing cards, bookends, pepper and salt, desk sets, mirrors, candlesticks and many more. Some of these items made suitable presentation gifts and a Blackwood walking stick was given to the Prince of Wales when he visited. Robert Walter's son, Robert William Schott, joined the business in the 1920s <coughs> and built upon his father's reputation for highly skilled workmanship. R. Schott and son began selling and eventually making their own Tasmanian Blackwood souvenirs. Many of these were marked with a round paper label on the base and a small silver map of Tasmania on the side. Robert William's son, John William Robert, joined the family business in the 1940s. John trained in French polishing and became an expert machinist, while his sister, Dea, provided valuable assistance repairing and sewing decorative motifs onto umbrellas. Every civic guest to Launceston after World War II was said to have been presented with a handmade wood souvenir from Shot and Son. R. Schott & Son Tasmania souvenirs replaced souvenir ware previously imported from Europe, particularly ceramic wares emblazoned with transfers of local scenes. Schott & Son's affordable range included everyday products such as egg cups, ashtrays and napkin rings and more decorative items such as clocks, walking sticks and presentation boxes. The present day shop, now owned and operated by the National Trust, continues to sell a large range of umbrellas and souvenirs most of which are made on the premises. Permanent historical displays, in addition to a variety of National Trust and Tasmanian made products. It is now run by a group of about 85 volunteers who are full of valuable information. The front of the building remains the shop front, as it always has been. The shop family lived above their shop during their time there, but these days there are legal offices above the old umbrella shop. Most of the original fittings from the site's 1920 <coughs> opening are still intact. The shop attracts tourists from around the world with people impressed that it's unique and that it's a step back in time. Mr President, the volunteers have a wall of brochures in the shop as well as their own local knowledge to share with visitors, focusing predominantly on the north and the Tamer Valley. Thank you. <coughs> 